Well, hey, everybody. Good Tuesday morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski here. It's been a little stormy out there early this morning. Have had some rogue showers and thunderstorms for the eastern parts of the state. Even had one pop up between Grand Island and Hastings around 3 o'clock this morning. There was one severe thunderstorm warning. It only lasted for a little while as it weakened pretty quickly, and that was between Lincoln and Beatrice, but that's been about it. So eastern Nebraska, you still could see some spotty showers and storms for the next couple of hours. Otherwise, most of us will see quite a bit of sunshine today as a warm front lifts north a little on the breezy side, south winds of 10 to 20 miles per hour as a uh, lower heat builds in as we go through the day today. A uh, few evening showers and thunderstorms not out of the question out there. This model doesn't have much. Others have a little bit of activity. This one wants to wait till tomorrow morning, but I think our better chance is actually going to come before midnight tonight. Even then, it's not a great chance by any means. There's not even much of a severe weather threat. Tomorrow, then back to mostly sunny skies. If we do see something in the morning, maybe a few clouds associated with that, but then mostly sunny, a little breezy again, and just as warm out there for your day on Wednesday. We'll keep chances of rain and thunderstorms around for Wednesday night, probably not till late night Wednesday night here in the Tri-Cities. If we see something isolated, severe storms not out of the question. And in fact, the Storm Prediction Center does have a marginal threat for tomorrow, more so tomorrow night for parts of central to western Nebraska for large hail damage and winds. We're in this weather pattern right now where we're not going to see a lot of severe weather. It's very July-like out there right now as we have these more of these rogue showers and thunderstorms, some isolated severe storms from time to time, and this warm weather building in. But until that jet stream that's way up north can build farther south, we're not or move back farther south, we're not going to see a lot of severe weather. We might get back to that kind of pattern towards early June for those that are big fans of severe weather. Going to be waiting a little while yet. Storm chasers, things like that. Going to be waiting a while for good a good opportunity for that. But today we do bring in a little more heat. Mid-80s up north, mostly sunny skies. South-southeast winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. The winds up north and out east won't be quite as strong as they will farther south and west. Some of the breeziest conditions will be out west today. Mostly sunny skies, mid to upper 80s. Late in the afternoon, probably not until after 4 o'clock, you may see uh, a shower thunderstorm try to develop late in the afternoon or into the evening hours. Mostly sunny in the south with temperatures in the mostly upper 80s, mid 80s. We well, can't even rule out maybe 90 degrees in one or two locations out there. Same thing to the east, mostly upper 80s, maybe a 90 degree reading. Uh, partly to mostly sunny, that early chance of thunder showers through about 8 or 9 o'clock, and then I think after that you're done, and uh, we'll get some sunshine to work in in those locations. So again, feeling the heat a little bit today, tomorrow, Thursday, upper 80s. Uh, again, that evening chance of showers and thunderstorms tonight, and then tomorrow, late night in the Tri-Cities. Thursday afternoon and Thursday night might be our best chance of showers and thunderstorms over the next week ahead and even then it's only a 30 percent chance of seeing it a little breezy each of the next three days 10 to 20 mile per hour winds the winds get lighter than towards the end of the week as more heat builds in this is the warmest temperature the temperature stretch we'll see friday through sunday lower 90s very small chance of a thunder shower friday afternoon or friday evening more than likely will stay dry saturday mostly looks dry Sunday mostly looks dry. There's a very, very, very slim chance of a shower thunderstorm on Sunday. Monday, only a slightly better chance on Memorial Day as we may cool it back a couple of degrees. And that takes us to, oh, what day is that? The 28th of May. I think through the rest of May, we'll keep it kind of similar in the 80s, a couple of rogue shower and thunderstorm chances. As we push towards early June, we may get more organized thunderstorm activities. It won't be quite as warm, uh, maybe more 70s and 80s. Uh, in the area here, but that's a ways away yet. So we'll kind of wait and see here uh, as we get towards that time frame. But at least for the short term seven day forecast, as we're looking at that, lots of warmth and hit or miss shower and thunderstorm chances with the occasional strong to severe thunderstorm with wind and hail, your main threat. So there you go. There's your forecast for today. Until next time, I'm meteorologist Travis Glineski. Hope you all have an enjoyable Tuesday. God bless.